My name is Janet Simpkins. I'm a director of Adopt a River Eco Solutions. We've been based here at the Amgeni River Mouth for coming on two years. We have a, a corporate funded team that work four days of the week clearing up all of the waste that um, finds itself on the banks and the, the seashores. Uh, we really are trying our best to divert as much of it out of the waterways and the ocean and send it responsibly to recycling projects um, and whatever we can't salvage goes off to landfill. We are very fortunate in that Durban Solid Waste have assisted us with the removal of that waste that we bag. So the team funded on the beach here is um, funded by uh, AdReach and Misaki Media. They've been a long time sponsor of Adopt a River. The team has been working together for the two years and I take my hat off to them because the amount of waste day in and day out that they deal with is heartbreaking and once they've removed it we have a rain and, and more comes. I've got a team here behind me that are cleaning here at the river mouth. These guys are committed in cleaning this area here. They work four days in a week. They work Monday to Thursday. And as you see these black bags that are lined up here, estimated 100 bags a day. They're cleaning all sorts of things that you can ever imagine. The households, uh, uh, dead animals, the PET, which is the, the, the plastic bottles that you see, the polystyrene, which is one of the biggest problems. You could see how much litter is uh, uh, in this area here. We also have recently taken on another corporate sponsor in Tough Bag. And not only are they supplying us with the, the larger bags for our PET recycling, they have also uh, taken on a team higher up into the catchment uh, in the Umcumbatini municipality area. And there we have a huge disposable nappy problem, um, illegal dumping, and that's also around problematic waste management. So we are working hand in hand with the community there. We've had awareness campaigns, door-to-door uh, -door, um, discussions, and the team on the ground are making great headway in um, trying to educate and find solutions. So that's an ongoing project. They are also removing waste out of the, the river there. They start with the big stuff. So we have our tough bags and they start picking up all the PET. It's, most of it is PET. Gets loaded into these big um, tough bags and stored. That's what we then take off to, um, for recycling. Then they will go back to an area and bag all of the non-recyclables. And every week or every second week when we've got enough waste stored, we then use the Green Corridor um, plastic craft and we're then able to load our waste piles onto the boats and then paddle it across the Amgeni to the South Bank side and that's where Durban Solid Waste collect those bags that are destined for landfill. A motor powered boat would um, certainly help those trips. We could do what normally takes us two days, um, perhaps even in a morning, which would then free up a lot of time to go and collect more waste. We also are looking into getting a, a custom-made beach buggy, a cart that's able to move easily enough on, on the sand and through the mangroves here, that we could then load our waste instead of carry the bags um, to where the next collection point is. I'd really like to say that within the two years that I've been involved, um, I've come across the most amazing individuals and the teams that we've got working um, are fantastic. Um, they really are eco-warriors. Some parts of this are incredibly frustrating in trying to get all departments to work for this common goal of just clean beaches and cleaner rivers. Um, we also are aware of a lot of the sewerage. Um, we, we monitor quite closely if there are spills and, and we can easily report that to the right people. So there are many factors and facets. And we need clean rivers. It's our drinking water, it's for our ecosystems, it's for our environment. I'm not gonna give up, um, we're not gonna give up. We're gonna continue and create awareness and because we have to, we have no other option. And I just wish that we all had a, a greater common understanding that if we all work together, um, that it would be a lot easier and we'd make a lot more headway. 
I certainly don't want to see um, ecosystems collapse in my lifetime. That's our drive and I just wish that we had um, everyone on board. <laughs>